Hello again, it's Vivian Parry and this is the second of my three sections of hints and tips about presentations. So this section is all about slides. Now, I know that slides cause a lot of grief, but here are some hints that I hope will help you. The first thing is that slides are not a reading test. The people who come to the EAU Congress are already rather good at reading. And if you just simply say exactly what's written on the slides, your audience will have already read the slides before you've even got through the first bullet point and they'll lose interest. And it's the quickest way to lose an audience that you can possibly imagine. I do understand that for some people, particularly if English is not your first language, having a bullet point that you can read is a comfort blanket and helps you ensure that you're saying the right thing and that your grammar is right and that kind of thing. I understand, but try if you can not to do this because it does tend to make your uh, slides a bit tedious. The other thing is about it's not a sight test either. I often see people who present a table a table of results and it's far too small for anybody to see any of it and they'll say that and then what they'll do is they'll animate the slide they'll put a red circle around a bit that is important and say as you can see no we can't you haven't altered the slide we still can't see it so always put your main result just as a main result not in the table that it came from and put it in no less than a 30 point font. And by the way, sans serif fonts are particularly good for presentations. So here's another thing. Try not to use more than one image per slide. What happens is the audience wanders all over the place looking at the different images and they forget to listen to you. You must have fewer or less slides the minutes of your presentation. No exceptions. If you have more, you will overrun and there is no greater sin in my book than overrunning because it takes away the chances of others and it also means you don't get questions, all sorts of things. Finally, I would say is, and this is a very, very important point, but it's not often realized, is that you are the content not your slides. You're the content because you add something. You can talk far quicker than what's on the slides. You can bring colour to it. You can bring enthusiasm. You are so much more than your slides. I keep saying to you, less is more. Listen to me on this one. Less is so much more when it comes to slides. Edit, edit, and edit again. And when you've got down to the bare minimum with no more than 20 words a slide, with only one image and an arresting image at that, when you've watched your slideshow from the back of the hall or back of a room to try it out, when you've done all that, you've got your slides right.